there's a lot of work uh, in the scientific literature on the brain mechanisms that underlie different kinds of emotions. Uh, and um, uh, compassion and, uh, and love and loving kindness and forgiveness uh, each include at least components of emotion. And so uh, you might think of, of these um, values or qualities as properly belonging to the scientific study of emotion. Uh, I've been um, uh, a person who has uh, done, done a lot of research on what we call affective neuroscience, which is the um, brain mechanisms that underlie emotion or affective processes. Uh, and yet, if you turn to a textbook of emotion uh, or to uh, um, scientific, the scientific literature on emotion, uh, up until very, very recently, there were um, hardly any references to these qualities. Um, virtually all of the work was focused uh, on a much narrower and for the most part considerably negative range of emotions. Emotions like fear and anxiety and disgust um, uh, were uh, uh, the ones that were highlighted. Uh, and so we decided that there is absolutely no reason why one could not harness the rigor and the tools that had been so effectively honed in the study of these negative qualities of mind and turn our attention to virtuous qualities. Neuroplasticity is probably the most important concept to emerge from neuroscience in the last decade. Uh, and simply put, it refers to the idea that more than any other organ in our body, the brain is built to change in response to experience or in response to training. And with that as a framework, we can then um, approach these positive qualities of mind uh, as the end product of skills which can be cultivated and trained. Uh, and so the notion that a person has a fixed level of compassion or of kindness um, really flies in the face of everything we know about the brain. Um, but we, as a culture, have not thought systematically about how these qualities can be cultivated. But there really isn't anything fundamentally different about cultivating compassion than there is about learning to play golf or, or, um, or chess. It's our view that um, even among people who report that they have relatively little of these qualities, um, each of us is born with the potential for all of these qualities. And um, it's something that through training can be cultivated. And uh, many of the world's great contemplative traditions have as part of their um, set of practices uh, techniques to cultivate these positive human qualities. Uh, and so um, we've been extremely interested in the use of meditation and other kinds of contemplative practices as vehicles for training the enhancement of these qualities.